Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I want to show you Luanti, formerly Mindtest, on the Racha Rock 5A with the Rockchip RK3588S. So I heard about this game because I'm following gaming on Linux on Blue Sky and he posted that Luanti formerly Mindtest that they changed their name. So yeah, people that are considering to go to Blue Sky, I think gaming on Linux, he has some starter packs which you might find useful to find interesting sources. So there are several and yeah, perhaps you want to use the whole pack or just pick the ones that you think are interesting. Now, coming back to Luanti. So yeah, I guess the easiest description is um, uh, Minecraft clone um, but yeah I think also as the name change implies that they want to be more than just a clone so to be honest I never really played Minecraft uh, so I can't really judge on um, if they bring anything new to the table but since this is free and open source, I think it's interesting to show this on my channel. Now, you can download it and that will get you to this page. So it's available on Windows, Android, Linux, Mac OS, FreeBSD. Now, I installed it with a flat pack, and at the moment that's not really advised to do so, but I will show you the performance with the flat pack for ARM in this case, and when you compile it from the source code. So there are instructions to compile it and they've made it real easy you can just copy one of these lines for your distro and if needed even a command to install git and this is how you get the source code and then you go into the directory and you can build it. Um, yeah, just to be sure, you can add this parameter and set it to release, uh, unless you want to debug it, but I guess most people will want to play it and then building for release is better because it's faster. And with this command, you will compile it with all the available processor cores or threads, or you can set a number. So minus J two or four or whatever you like. Um, but usually it is advised to keep at least one processor core or thread available for the system itself. Now, as I said, I installed it with Flatpak. I'm not going to show the process because uh, it's not advised, at least on the Rock Rockchip RK3588 systems, to use the Flatpak. Perhaps in the future that might change, but it looks like that you need um, OpenGL 4.5 for that to get good performance. 
Anyway, we start the flat pack first. So, yeah, you can download multiple engines. So I'm going for Fox Libre. Uh, so when you install engines, then you can create uh, worlds for it. Uh, and you have to give them a name, uh, but you have to note that these names, uh, they have to be unique within the system, not just per engine. So for instance, if I try to create a world name one here, it will tell me that it already exists, not with this engine, but with this engine. Anyway, um, creating a world sometimes can take some time. So be please be patient. Uh, so I already created one. So then it doesn't need to create it. It only needs to load it. And with F5, you can see some statistics. And as you can see here, the frames per second is currently six, seven, something like that. When we start walking around. Oh, I died. Oh, there's a monster, I guess. So let's see if I can run away from it. But uh, yeah, so the frames per second drops to five frames per second. So that's not a nice experience. So um, I compiled it and yeah, that's what I forgot to say. But um, if you go back, if you really want to see it, uh, you saw OpenGL in the title bar, OpenGL 4.5. But uh, currently we don't have OpenGL 4.5 support. We only have 3.3. Um, so anyway, I built mind test or Luanti from the source and then it gets a whole lot faster. So if we start it now and so here in the title bar, you can see OpenGL 3.3 .3 now. And press F5. So frames per second is around, let's just say 30. So we start walking around. Yeah, I guess uh, depending on how much it needs to draw, that's also around 30 frames per second. And one other thing, uh, you can join a game. So you can see that there are quite some servers available. Uh, for some of them, uh, you need to have a login and some of them will let you register. Uh, yeah, perhaps some of them you need to go to uh, a website or go to Discord to get an account. Um, so here, for instance, like they have a default password, so anyone can just enter. Um, it's aimed at German speaking people, but I also entered the room and some of them were able to type in English. So that wasn't a problem either. Uh, here you can see a French one. So I guess this is um, an interesting game. Um, yeah, 
some people might say it's a Minecraft clone, but um, they say that they bring some other stuff to the table. But again, I'm not an expert, so I can't really comment on that. So I hope that more people are willing to check out this game. There are two options. So one is to install it, for instance, with the flat pack. And the other option is to build it from source. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.